Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. I'm going to be showing y'all how to shoot an NBA 2K RNG 25. Be giving y'all the best jump shots for every rating, for every height, for every play style that you need in 2K25. I'm going to be giving you a bunch of tips on how to be consistent. I'm going to break down what is really going on with the shooting system. Okay. I have a 95 plus win percent every year. I could have a 99 win percent in the wreck every year. And last year, I shot 75 plus from three. Okay. Y'all be sure to share this video around this is the most important video that you'll ever watch if you can shoot you're better than 80 percent of the community easily shooting is key to being good at 2k y'all make sure y'all subscribe i'm gonna be giving y'all all the tips to be a god in 2k25 make sure y'all like that video if you want more 2k lab just posted this right <laughs> I told you, I do not be capping, bro. I d bro, you can call me a lot of things, but I, I, I'm not a liar. I don't be making stuff up. I'm not stupid. Look at this. One shot. Your, your green window here, two shot. Green hand window here, three shot. Green window here. Green window here, five. Green window, green hand. You, you feel me? Now, what, what you guys aren't realizing, this don't mean the shooting's harder. It just means there's more randomness to it, bro. And people say, look at your visual cue. Guys, I, I've been looking. I've been looking. For past years, I'm not stupid, bro. I'll hit all these shots in a row. I get my takeover and miss, and I'm looking so hard at my visual in 23, bro, especially. And I would miss. I remember in Lethal Shooter, I activate my takeover, hit four shots, activate my takeover, miss. There's no way my green window is not big enough to where I'm, I'm just mistiming it that bad. And I'm, I'm literally focusing on my hand as hard as I can, bro. I'm telling you, there are things in the game where they're shortening your green. Like they're not rewarding the skilled players. When you start to perform too good, they're picking on you, bro. They're, they're, they're giving you smaller windows or they're moving it or it might even be impossible to hit i don't know at certain time i don't know there is an algorithm in this hole i swear to you but look if you want to avoid this start using rhythm shooting look up how to do it all you gotta do is flick it down then flick it up just like a normal jump shot you flick it up right when it's about to you know you're about to flick that hole or whatever what, whatever your release point is and you'll get a bigger green one so i mean you'll notice this less but there's definitely it's not that the shooting's hard it's broken like it's very these newer 2ks are very easy but they're broken you feel me like for instance there's people testing live people are passing people the ball with legend dimer they're in a lethal in takeover they shoot and they miss it shouldn't even be possible bro you feel me the the, the, the game is but yeah, man, let's get into the jump shot. Now, look, this jump shot requires a 90 plus rating, so it got to be good, my boy. Now, look, it's a smooth base. Got to be 6'5 plus through, through 6'10, and you need a 90 plus to get it. So it, it got to be decent, dog. You know, I like it. it. It be hella green when I try it. Now, this Prince, it's pretty cool. You can make it even faster. This is an alternate reality version. Look, it's only the 84. You know, and if you use different uh releases, you can get it down to low. You know, it's a nice base, dog. You don't got as much height as some of the other jumpers I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the one that's really the truth that you really, really need. Later on, you're gonna find out. Here's another alternate reality, less height. You know, it's more you you can make this faster if you do like pure Oscar or whatever, you know. This is 85. Prince is pretty. I don't really ever rock this. It's pretty cool. There's some top guys rocking it. Now, this is a real nice one that's becoming very popular. It's pretty slow, so it has like a nice big green window. Your feet come in, you know, you get a nice arch, pause. And um, yeah, this is one of the best jump shots. This is this in Culver. I don't really know which one is better, but this jump shot and Culver, those are the two that you need to be recommended to everybody. Poppers, big ISO builds, whatever build, if it's 6.5 plus, these two are the ones you, I'm gonna show you the Culver jump shot eventually. And uh, these are the two ones you really need to be rocking if you wanna get more green or just make more shots in general. And you could get this lower if you switch the releases. Look, here's another one where you can get some height, but you know, it's a little slower. You get some, you get even more height to help you shoot over people and get less contested. And then, you know, 84, I mean, no, I, I like that. I like I like this version better. I ain't gonna hold you. Now look, here's for you super low rated bots, okay? You super low rated bots. Taking a 610 and you got a 70 something shot. Man, you're NPC. You should not be playing like that. This is a new age, new era. Should not be making builds like this unless you're just trying to have fun. But you know, if your fun involves winning and but playing on something like this is ridiculous here's a pretty good jump shot for if you got a 70 three point or midi you know check it out you know you got decent release speed decent release height look look at him. 
got a really nice release queue. Now look, Andre Drummond, 6'10 plus. This is for you low NPCs. I right, do not make builds like this. Please, God. No insides this year. I don't care. I don't care what's nerfed. Please, bro. <laughs> in the wreck, bro. Stop. Bro. Stop standing in the paint. Stop standing in the paint. Stop. If you can't score automatic every time in the paint as a post score or whatever you're doing, stop standing in the paint. Please. When? What year are people finally going to get it? Come on, man. Y'all claim to know basketball. You cannot just stand in the paint, bro. Nobody can drive you putting the best paint defender in the paint, bro. That makes no sense. But look, here's a nice jump shot. You only need a 63, my boy. You only need a 63. People are saying this is like the fastest jump shot in one of the fastest jump shots in the game. But it's only an A speed, which is very weird. They're saying it's faster than a lot of the A plus speed ones. So it's like this whole uh, system is kind of weird. I don't know. But um, this is for six. Look, you got a 66 shot. Try this hole, man. They say it's real fast. You know, you don't really get that much release height, but you don't get up off the ground like that. But you probably can get it all, you know? And then you're 6'10", so I mean, you could try this out, bro. But guys, please don't be making builds like this. Even if you're trying to be some midi threat, stop it, bro. Like, spotting up at the midi is not good. They can easily guard you and the person driving. You're just holding everyone back, bro. If you don't know how to cheese in the paint with an inside, don't make an inside. You have to be able to shoot somewhat, bro. You can't score in the paint effortlessly every time don't make an inside you're just hurting your team bro now look here's a very meta jump shot it's cameron thomas this is one of the best jump shots for a six five under okay this is what everyone is using probably what people are using most okay until you unlock patty at starter three or starter four it is yeah try this try this out you should be good my boy here's another great jump shot okay for low rated builds no helping y'all out helping y'all out giving you options okay Giving you option. Another good jump shot. You know, you don't get much release height, but you know, it's different. And low rated builds, helping y'all out. Now, Kobe is one of them ones, okay? You see them stats? Now, this jump shot could really be one of the true, okay? Since like we ain't got the T Mac, this is definitely one of the top jump shots. Test it out, rock with it. Let me know how you feel about it, man. Here's another alternate reality of the Kobe, okay? Now, look, here's another great jump shot. You know, we ain't got the T Mac. You could try other things. Ray Allen been good. And every 2K has been a nice release, easy to see. All that, man. Kyle Corver is another top jump shot. It's really fast, easy to see. You know, we got the releases, all that. It's all around straight A's. Test it out, man. Scotty Pippen could be best jump shot in the game. We don't know. We got to test it out more. It's still, you know, that and the other jump shot I showed you in the start. This one and the Culver, these are like the top jump shot. Here goes that Culver, man. This is the, the baby T-Mac. Recommend this jump shot or recommend the jump shot I showed y'all at the beginning. Between these two, these are the ones. Now look, if you don't like Cam Thomas or Curry, try this Allen Iverson. It's another baby T-Mac. You know, it's a nice release. It's real good. Some people use Kyrie, but... You know, I like I like the AI, bro. I ain't gonna hold AI is a real nice shot, bro. Real nice shot. Pound for bound king. Here's another alternate reality of the Allen Iverson. Look, another another small build jump shot. Try it out. Isaiah Thomas. It's nice. You should be playing on a monitor, okay? I know it sounds dub, but there's a lot of old heads in this world. Y'all gotta share this video. You need to be playing on a monitor with all games. There's a delay. You're playing on some big 60 inch. There's a delay. It might look better, or whatever, but it's a bigger delay. You need to be playing on a monitor. Like the BenQ, ASIC, whatever, ASIC, whatever it's called, okay? You need to be playing on a monitor. I think I switched in like 2K18 or something. You know, I was still a guy that's shooting back then, but I don't know. But y'all are even more delayed on a super del delayed game. Secondly, very, this is very important. Very, bro, it's so important that I can't even explain. You need to be making sure that you are Ethernet cable from your PlayStation into your router. That is fundamental to playing online games. Or you're going to be delayed. You're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 for some you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less Delay. I don't know. But one thing for sure that I want to tell y'all is make sure you always play 
either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays. It's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park, they're two different lag delays, latencies and lag spikes. When you do it with, you're adding a different factor. When your controllers start to die, you plug it in, you gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss. But trigger effect, this is very important. Please guys, please send this video to your friends. When I play with randoms, especially the old heads, dog, that you hear it, you hear it, bro. That's all you hear in their controller. <laughs> bro, you can't play like that. It's disrupting you, okay? This is okay. But the, the trigger effect is in... <laughs> bro, you gotta... You know, you got something tripping in your hand, bro. How can you play? You know, just when dribble... It's gonna it's gonna intimidate you. You're gonna mess up your shots. It's, turn it off, guys. Okay? Now, look. Your shot timing profile. Put it here, okay? Either here or here. You can start off here. This description, it says similar to previous 2Ks, but according to 2K, uh, 2K Lab chart, that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2Ks or I don't I don't know what's going on. Now look, this is according to NBA 2K, okay? This is the low risk, right? You don't want this, guys. Maybe if you lag or you're from some other area where you don't play on good servers and you're trying to play with other people, maybe do something like this, but... And then they say, this is medium, and this is how the other 2Ks was, bro. <laughs> it, would st it would be more around, like, these areas and stuff. So, I mean, the description is wrong when you read it. All, all they did with these newer 2Ks, guys, is they just made all the whites you would make back then, they just made them green. They just opened up the green window. That's all they did, bro. And 2K Lab confirmed that. You know, when I was telling people that when they first introduced Green or Mist. So, I mean, maybe y'all can start on this if you want, but when you see high risk, you're going to want to do high risk. You see, like you have a way higher make percent. This is according to 2K Lab. And uh, yeah, and th all this is not counting all your badges, your jump shot meter off. I'm pretty sure your momentum, you, you building up your takeover. So it's going to be like green even more, you know? So yeah, okay, now look, bro. 2K makes it to where you have to have shooting boots to be able to shoot consistent. I know it costs VC, but if you want to shoot as good as you can, you got to buy the uh, the shooting boots, bro. That That's just how it is. And it got to do with your Gatorade. So make sure you're doing your Gatorade drills and all that, man. And I think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year. But got to have jump shot boost and some form of Gatorade. So, you know, you have a bigger stamina meter and all this. And now while you're moving around, you shoot the ball. Hey, you don't need all of them, but you need some of them, especially if you're a guard. They make you pay to play to uh be consistent in the game if you can manage without it rock with it but that's just how it be now secondly before you play online okay this is very important you want to get your hot spots i'm pretty sure before you even go get your lethal zones i'm gonna show y'all where that is and everything get your hot spots first someone clarify down below but get your red spots first and then go do your lethals because last year they had it to where say you went in there and you didn't even have a hot spot and you did your lethals it wouldn't go to purple so and you get to get three purples for three weeks i believe so unless someone says something down below make sure you get your hot spots red before you go get your lethal don't play online unless you get your hot zones guys listen don't play online unless you get your hot zones you will miss it it don't even matter if you have your bad you need your hot zones okay every 2k it's so important tell your friends people don't know this on all your builds you need your hot zones, okay? You need your hot zones. Now, it could, you could get them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm gonna show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're gonna wanna go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where that? Where that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or the Temple. It's right here, okay? Or you could do the My Career lowest difficulty. Y'all let me know which is easiest so far. Look, right here, you got the board, these people. This is where you're going to do it at, man. Definitely need to get this badge max to be able to shoot consistently online, man. A lot of your shots are going to be with this badge. And a lot of your shots are going to be with this badge, too. You need to get this up. Art of Shooting Gym. This is where you're going to want to go to get your purples. Get your reds first. Get your red hot zones first. You're going to go in here. It looked clean. It looked clean. I don't know if it's just because it's new or what. It looked clean to me. Feel me? You know, you know what? We don't. We don't look kind of clean. But make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this. I hear the Gatorade drills closing app is patched. Someone let me know down below. I don't know. Because y'all know if you mess up, you could close app. I don't know if you could close app on this. 
like if you you're starting to mess up so you know figure that out let 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 me know so i can let everybody else know so you know we can have more fun on the game now of course you want to have no shot meter you get a 20 percent boost to your green window that's what they say it's way easier to shoot without it just do it i don't care it don't help you guys just do it bro trust me. now look some people in previous 2Ks, you know, y'all know having all this stuff on and off. Look, you could take off a lot of stuff. The green release animations, you could take it all off. If you know, some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player, you know, so you could take off a lot of these things. No ball trail. A lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail. So, you know, you can have this type of stuff off, even when it comes to the feedback. Some people have it off. I always keep it on, but some people turn this off and they say, they shoot better so if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know you I mean you could test this out see if it helped but you know that's just a method anywho click the video on the screen if you want the best settings in nba 2k25 to be a uh a dribble high but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.